afternoon, everybody. Let's talk about the prophetic word again today. We're going to go to 2 Corinthians 1, 3, and 4. 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3 and 4, and then Acts 7, 9, and 10, and then Exodus 4, 20. And this prophetic word is about comforting one another and how God uniquely is going to comfort someone listening to this prophetic word. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 and 4 says, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and the God of all comfort, who comforts us in all our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted. Let's read that again. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies and God of all comfort, who comforts us in all of our tribulation, that we may be able to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. So every single tribulation a believer goes through, we have a promise here that God will comfort us in every single one of those. Partly because he wants us to comfort those who are in any trouble with the comfort with which we ourselves are comforted by God. So someone listening to this video, the first part of this prophetic word is God is uh, commanding us as believers to remember how he has comforted you in the midst of your tribulation and go and comfort those the same way God comforted you. That's the first thing. The next thing is in the book of Acts 7, verse 9 and 10. And the patriarchs become becoming envious sold Joseph into Egypt, but God was with him and delivered him out of all his troubles and gave him favor and wisdom in the presence of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and he made him governor over Egypt and all his house. The uniqueness of God's comfort is the next part of this prophetic word. Someone listen to this video, God is going to comfort you. And it's going to be by way of promotion. It says in the verse 10, And delivered him out of all his troubles, and gave him favor and wisdom in the presence of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and made him governor over Egypt and all his house. God will use the unbeliever and the world as instruments also of comfort by way of promotion. I've seen that personally in my own life. I've seen God comfort me as I go through a trouble by promoting me or giving me greater responsibility that brought great comfort to me at the time. It was a situation as I was going through it and there's someone that's going through that same thing that you are in need of comfort and God is going to bring greater responsibility to you. But he wants you to remember Exodus 4.12. Now therefore go and I will be with your mouth and teach you what you shall say. The person listening to this video receives the comfort of God however way it is, but is will find out that you are uh, intimidated and concerned about how you will operate in that promotion. You don't feel that you have the ability to do so. And God wants to you to focus on the comfort. Because he says in Exodus 4.12, Now therefore go, and I will be with your mouth, and teach you what you shall say. He wants you to focus on him comforting you in the trouble that you are in. Not to go from trouble to trouble, but to focus on the way that he will comfort you. And that will give you, there's someone, there's people that will, the comfort of the Holy Spirit, sometimes it's a big hug uh, from someone. Other times it is just a word of encouragement. Sometimes it's a YouTube video. But this unique way that God is going to comfort you is give you more responsibility, which promotes you. But he doesn't want you to focus on 
your inability because he's using it to comfort you. And if he uses it to comfort you, then he will give you the ability, as he says in Exodus 4.12. Now, therefore, go. Go into that comfort. Go into that promotion. Go into that responsibility because I'm going to use that to comfort you. I am using that to comfort you. I will be with your mouth and teach you what you shall say. God bless you. Have a great day.